Hi, so welcome to your postnatal program. This is stage one, level one. So what we're going to do today is we're gonna find out where our neutral spine position is. So if you have a ball, um, you may have had one when you were pregnant, then please go and grab it. You don't have to have one, you can sit on the floor or onto a chair and um, do the same moves. But it, this is quite nice because it helps you get into position very nicely. Okay, I'm gonna to turn to the side slightly so you can see what I'm trying to do here. So you're gonna sit up in a nice posture position, shoulder blades back and down and relax. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna first of all tuck our pelvis under, and then we're gonna push it to the back of the room and arch. So just do this a few times. I'm gonna turn right around so you can see. So we're gonna tuck and then arch. I'm gonna move my hands away so you can see. Tuck and arch. Okay, so we don't wanna be in those two positions. We want to be in the center, so a neutral position. So what I want you to do now is to incorporate um, activating your pelvic floor while you're in the wrong positions and you can feel where your pelvic floor hits you want to hit the whole of your pelvic floor not just the front and the back so let's tilt it forward so tuck under and I want you to pull your pelvic floor from the rear of your bottom up to the front and hold now you're probably feeling that in the front now release now tuck sorry arch backwards and pull that pelvic floor up and you can probably feel that more in the bottom in the anus area, okay. So now put it into neutral position. So you're gonna take a deep breath in, and as you breathe out, you're going to pull your pelvic floor up from the rear to the front, like you're zipping up and pulling up towards your uh, belly button. Good, okay, so you should feel that all the way around your pelvic floor, not just on the front and the back position. So you might wanna take a few minutes here just to practice that. And that brings us to the pelvic floor. The pelvic floor muscles are attached to the deep layer of the abdominal muscles. When you activate correctly, you should feel a slight tension in the lower abdominals. This should not be bracing of the whole tummy or a sucking in or a breath holding. I get it, pelvic floor exercises are boring, but it's like laying the foundations to your house. If you get this right, you can build the strength on top. What I'm going to do now is talk you through the breathing. So what we need to do, we need to fill our bellies full of air. So when you take that deep breath in, I want your belly to expand, okay? So let's just practice that first of all. So put your hands on your tummy and you're in this neutral position. You're not tucked forward, you're not arched. You're sitting nice and still. So hands on belly, you want the air literally to fill your ribs and expand, ready? So take a take deep breath in. In through the nose, out through the mouth, ready? Again, inflate with through the nose, out through the mouth. Good, so when you take that deep breath in, I want your ribs to expand with you. And then as you exhale through your mouth, I want your ribs and your belly to deflate. So let's just exaggerate that move. Think about what we're doing, ready? So take a deep breath in, inhale and inflate. Breathe out. And the ribs go down. Okay, so what's happening is, when your ribs expand as you inhale, the, the diaphragm is gonna move down. As you exhale, the ribs deflate and the diaphragm pulls up along with your pelvic floor. So let's mind to muscle now, okay? I'm gonna talk you through it. So you're gonna put your hands on your tummy, you're gonna inhale, fill the belly, and then we're gonna let the air out and pull that pelvic floor up and hold. Again, inhale, hold and exhale. Yes, I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna talk you through it this way. So, get grounded. So when I go like this, it's zipping up to the belly button, ready? So inhale, fill that belly. See my ribs deflating, I'm going out and in. So what we do, I mean, I know I've done it for the years, I've 
constantly walk around with my holding my belly in so that I've got a nice figure. Um, I don't want to be standing there with it all hanging out, you know, whatever. Um, we've done this for years, us women, and it's something we need to stop doing. We need to release. We need to stop breathing into our chest and we need to fill our belly, okay? So let's do this. We're going to do five and we're going to go over and over. And what I want you to do, if you need to pause me to practice this, then please do. So nice neutral position. So you're not arching, you're not tucking. Hold it there. So remember, pull up on the breath out and release as you breathe in. Very important to release and squeeze, release and squeeze. And you're gonna just pause at the top and pause at the bottom. Are you ready? So deep breath in, fill the belly and breathe out. Deflate the ribs and pull the pelvic floor up. Again, inflate. Relaxing that pelvic floor and deflate. Inhale. Deflate. Again, inhale. Inhale, expand. Deflate, pull up. One more. Inhale, release. Exhale, through the mouth. Pulling up that pelvic floor. Hold it there. Deflate, are the ribs down? Are you neutral? Is your pelvic floor up and holding? And gently release. Okay, so if you need to pause this here um, and keep redoing it with me, you're more than welcome. But just be mindful of this um, and just, you know, once we go through to the next level, you will be fine, I promise you. Okay, so um, we're going to go through a series of breathing now. We're going to hold for two seconds at the top and two seconds at the bottom, okay? So I'm going to turn to the side, give you a good angle of what I'm doing. So let's get that neutral spine. Are you ready? I'm not going to talk, you're just going to follow the exhale and the deflate, okay? Ready? Go. Again. Last one, inhale. And there you go. Okay, so when you first start these, you are probably gonna find that you get a bit tired quickly. So just keep repeating this um, over and over again, and then you'll, gradually your mind will connect. So just to recap, your belly expands, Okay, you're filling your whole belly full of air through the nose. Then as you breathe out through the mouth, I mean, you can make a sound if you wish, if it helps. Um, you want to deflate the belly, deflate the ribs, and then the pelvic floor, you want to bring it upwards, zipping from the rear to the front, okay? Try and have a couple of second holds at each end, and gradually you'll be getting stronger and stronger.